So in this tutorial, we're going to continue with the um, computer crazy example, the company that sells games. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and we've created this subform or something like it, where we've got a form and a subform for each order. Uh, at the top, we can see the games that have been ordered by a particular customer, and we can scroll through. We've got various navigation buttons, and we've got a button that goes to the customer. What I want to do is add a calculated field to this form. A calculated field, as the name suggests, is a field that's calculated on the form itself. It's a field that doesn't exist in the database, in the table, and it's not on the form at the moment, and it's not in a query. It will be calculated as the forms run, and it'll be calculated from other fields that are already on the form. Uh, for this example, we're just going to add one that uh, adds up the number of lines, order lines per order. So for this one, it will calculate that there are six lines, six games been ordered. We could be doing it as a check. In this simple example, it might not make a lot of sense, but maybe there's 20, 30 different order lines and we just want something at the top that shows us the, the number of order lines. To uh, create a calculated field you go into design view and access can be a little bit buggy I found when doing this so I'm going to do it in a two-stage process. Um, what I'm going to do first of all is put a calculated field into the subform. So actually I'm going to do the count of how many lines there are in the subform on there but this doesn't display so I'm going to do this quickly and then you can follow it and try it out in your own time because this te uh, oh, I had a text box sorry let me do that again that's a bit too quick to create a calculated field you need a text box on your form so I click on the text box icon I'll put it in there this will not be displayed uh, the, so the, the user won't be able to see it so I'm not really worried about the format but I've got to put a formula in here and the formula I'm going to put is I'm going to count, so I use a function called count, I open brackets, and now I have to tell the access to count a particular field. To tell access it's a field, you use a square bracket, and then use the name of the field. In this case, whoops, I'm going to type in game ID. So I'm counting this field here. How many occurrences? I'm just counting the number of lines that are in the subform. And I close the brackets. To show you that in a little bit more detail, this is what I've just typed in. Equals, count, open the brackets, because that's the function, and then the name of the field goes in square brackets. That's not going to be shown. I now want to show it up at the top. <coughs> Excuse me. So what I need to do is put another text box and put another calculated field here. But all this field's going to do at the top, and this will be shown. I'm not going to format it very prettily, but because we know how to do that. What I need to do in here is tell Access that this calculated field will actually be this one here. This gets slightly involved though, um, only because of the references. I'm on the subform. The subform is actually called Order Line Subform 1. So to tell Access we want to find a field on there, we first of all have to do, well, let's do the equals. We do the square brackets, we close the, and then we close it. So we're telling Access to go to the subform. We then, for some strange reason, I don't write the system, we have to tell it um, that it's a form and then we have to put an exclamation mark. You just have to follow the syntax of this. Then we tell it, actually I just realized I've done something wrong. One other thing I should have done, so do this when you do this one. I want to give this a meaningful name, this new calculated field. It's called text 14. I'm going to call it something sensible like line count. I should have done that first of all. All I'm doing is giving this new calculated field a name so I can refer to it up here. Let's do that again. So I'm up here. I want to put the name of the subform first of all. So I put in here equals square brackets. So I've told access go to the subform. It's a form. Oops, should be square brackets again. It's a form, and then you put an exclamation mark on there. Um, and then I have to tell it what field I'm after. That's why I just named it. So I'm going to be after the field called line count. And that's really all you need to do. That tells access. Well, let's show it in a bigger screen so you can see what I've done. That's what I've typed in. So the text box on the main form as first of all, in square brackets, a reference to the subform, then a dot then a f 
another square bracket and the exclamation mark following saying form and then the name of the field on the subform I want to display and that's basically what we've actually got uh, and that's all we actually need let's have a look at it so when we get this you can see that it's counted and it's showing six and if I go through at the top if you look at this field it just changes to the number of let's go to number 13 we've got seven one two three four five six seven lines that's basically all it's doing. So have a go at that in your own forms.